morning students so today i am going to start this uh, exercise 1.4 in the last exercise in the previous exercise we have learned about how to do the, uh, how, to, how to do the multiplication okay in this class we are going to learn about how to do the subtraction division in integers okay in the first common number the value is of the following each of the following the first a minus 30 divided by 10 okay if you have given question okay 30 divided by 10 means you can do it very easily 10 30 10 3 30 But in this, they have given here minus thirty. Then how we should do this division? Okay, in the same way how we we have done now, we have to do. But we have to use the minus thirty there. So they have given here first question as minus thirty divided by ten. So minus thirty divided by ten. So I have to get here minus. So we can do here cancellation. Then how we should do? Then three is a thirty. Okay. Here we should have. We should get the minus here. There also we get minus into plus minus. Then we can get cancel here. Minus minus we have given zero. Okay. What is the remainder? Is the quotient here? Minus three is the quotient. Next is B one. Fifty divided by minus five. So minus five fifty. We should get here minus no. So then how we do? Five ten. Five ten is a fifty. Okay. So you get here minus into minus plus. Zero is the answer. Remainder minus ten is the answer. Plus into minus will get here minus, but we have to take here. We have to subtract the term. Okay, in division we are going to subtract. We we won't add. Here minus into minus plus we will get here. So we will subtract this one. Minus and here also minus. Next C one. Minus thirty six divided by minus nine. Okay, here we have to take minus nine divided by minus thirty six. So, in which take nine four is minus thirty six. Four nine is thirty six minus minus into plus minus. If we get the two negative sign, the quotient will be the positive integer. If we get the one negative and one positive integer, we will get answer in the negative integer itself. And B one minus forty nine divided by forty nine. Then what will get the answer here? Forty nine divided by Minus one because we have here minus so forty nine into minus one get a minus forty nine then subtract this one get the remainder as zero and answer as minus one. Okay, this is fourth one. Copy this everything 
And what are the questions I'll do? Uh, what are the questions I'll solve on the board? You have to write in your books. Even 13 divided by 1. Okay. First we have to solve the problem. What is in the bracket? So, first 13 divided by minus 2 here plus 1. Okay. 13 divided by plus and minus. Okay. Plus 2 minus 1. So, we have to subtract that 1. We will get as a minus 1 as the answer. So, we have to divide 13 by minus 1. 13 divided by minus 1. So, minus 1 into minus 13. We get here as a minus into minus plus no 0. The answer is, what the answer we get here? Minus 13 is the answer. Next F1, 0 divided by minus 12. If we divide any number or if we multiply any number with 0, we will get answer here as a 0 itself. Minus 0. Well, 0 is the 0. Okay. 0 is the answer. G1. Minus 31 divided by big bracket, small bracket, minus 30 plus minus 1, close the bracket, minus 31 divided by big bracket, minus 30 plus 1, sorry, minus 30 minus 1, what will become? It will also become minus 31, okay. Now you will divide the minus 31 divided by minus 31. Minus 31 divided by minus 31. Then what is the answer? 1 the minus 31. We have here both the negative integer. The quotient what we got is the sorry, we got the remainder here is the positive integer that is 1. H1 minus 36 divided by 12 and again this is 4 divided by 3. First we have to find the sum for this. Minus 30, 36 divided by 12. So minus 36 divided by 12. So 12 into minus 4 which is here minus 36 here. So what is the answer? Here we get a minus 4. So minus 3. And again, the remainder is the quotient is what? Minus 3. Minus 3 divided by 
आएगा माइनस सिक्स प्लस फाइव फोर डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस टू प्लस वन माइनस सिक्स प्लस फाइव इज मॉमर इट इज माइनस सिक्स प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस टू प्लस वन Plus five is common. Minus one divided by here also minus one. If we divide minus one by by minus one is divided by minus one, means the answer will be also minus one answer. Okay, next second row number. values of a comma b and c okay here they have given the values of a b and c here a is equals to 12 b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to Okay, what is again? Very fact that a divided by b plus c is not belongs to is not equal to a divided by b plus a divided by c. Here they have given the values of that one. A divided by b plus c is not equal to a divided by b and a divided by c. Give us the value of a here. One. Is divided by b plus c. B is minus four plus two. Is c is not equal to a is again twelve minus divided by b is how much minus four. Next, a is twelve minus so divided by two. Find that and find it now. Twelve divided by minus four plus two is minus two itself. Minus two not belongs to two divided by four. Okay. Minus twelve divided by four. Rough it, rough work here down. Twelve divided by minus four. We have here minus four. Four three is a Twelve minus two. Okay, minus three is the answer for that. Okay, yes. Plus twelve divided by two is twelve divided by two. Two six is twelve. The remainder the quotient is six. Twelve divided by minus six is how much? It's a Minus six is not equal to minus six plus three is uh, minus three plus six is plus three. Okay, it's the verification. Hope we have done that. 
a divided by b plus c is not equal to a divided by c plus a divided by c. The next is b1 a equal to a equal to minus 10 b equal to 1 and c equal to 1. Okay, what is the formula they have given here? A divided by B plus C is not equal to A divided by B plus A divided by C. Okay, what is the value of A here? That is minus 10 divided by B plus C is minus 1 plus 1. Okay, it is not equal to A, A is how much? Minus 10 divided by 1, so minus 1 and minus 10 is divided by 1. Okay, minus 10. Minus 1 plus, plus 1 is how much? 0. Minus 10 divided by minus 1. Okay, what will be the answer for that? Minus 1 will be. Only 1 will be. Minus 10 divided by 1 is how much? Minus 1 itself. Minus 10. Minus 10 divided by 0 is 0. Is not equal to 10. Plus minus 10. Zero. This is less than and it is minus 10. So 0. So 0 equals to 0. Okay. In this A divided by B plus C is equal to A divided by B plus A divided by C. In the blanks, 369 is divided by dash. The answer will be the same with 369. If, if they divide the number with any other number, if, if the answer is same, then which number they are dividing? They are dividing with the 1. If we got the 1 as the answer, they have they to divide the example. If they have divided 10 divided by 10, answer will be given as a one means if we divide the same number, the answer will get is one. That is the quotient will be one. Okay, so let's next we go for the third comma number. Everything you should copy in your books.
20 divided by that equals to minus 2. 1 divided by 4 equals to minus 3. Okay, these are the questions that have been here. Now I have to fill the blanks. Okay, if, if we get the same answer as the question, then which number they are divided here? Okay, if you multiply any number, you should get the answer as 369. So, if you multiply it 1, you get the answer 369. Okay. The answer is 1. 369 is divided by 1. That and the quotient will be 369 itself. Okay, here we have the minus 1 as the answer. Here they have given question as minus 75 divided by dash. If they divide the same numbers, okay, divisor and the dependent is the same numbers, the quotient will get it as here so, uh, minus, sorry, 1 itself. So, if they divide the same number, that minus 75 is divided by 75, then we will get here as a minus 1. Okay, here also they have given here plus 1. Okay, if the two uh, negative, uh, negative integers please, we will get here as a positive integer. Correct? If we have one negative integer and one positive integer, we will get here a negative integer. Here we don't have a negative integer. Here we have only positive integer. So what we should do now? We have to take minus here. Minus into minus plus 260. 206 is divided by 206. The remainder will be 1 itself. So the quotient will be 1 itself. Here they have given a positive integer. But here we have one negative integer. Then we should take again 1 here. Minus 87 into minus 1. Then you get the answer as a 87. Minus into minus plus 87 into 1 is 87. Here, here we have the positive integer and the answer is negative integer. Then we should take here a negative integer and the answer is say 87. Next is 48. If the same number is divided, we will get the remainder as the quotient as a minus 1. So minus 48 is divided by 48. The answer will be a minus 1. Here. Okay. 2. 2 divided by dash is equal to minus 2. If it is divided by 10, 2 then 10 times up 20. So minus we have minus 10 is the answer. And the last here is minus 12 is divided by 4. We get it as the answer minus 3. This is third main and the fourth main. Write the five planes of integers. Write the five planes of integers. A comma B such that. Such that a divided by b is equals to minus 3. We have to write the 5 number, 5, five pairs of integers. By dividing that, we should get the answer minus 3. One of such pair is. Such pair is. Minus 15 divided by 
by 5 will give me as a minus 3 itself. Thank you.